Hey there, health warriors. Today, we're discussing a significant decision by the FDA to ban brominated vegetable oil, commonly known as BVO. This additive, primarily found in sodas and other beverages, is no longer considered safe for consumption. Let's dive into why this ban is happening, the health risks associated with BVO and which countries have already prohibited its use. Brominated vegetable oil, or BVO, is a vegetable oil that has been chemically modified with bromine, a chemical element you might more commonly associate with fire retardants. BVO has been a popular additive in many of your favorite sodas and sports drinks, playing a crucial role in preventing the flavoring from separating and floating to the top. This ingredient has been under the watchful eye of the Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, since it was removed from the generally recognized as safe list way back in the 1970s. Yet, despite this removal, its use continued under strict limits. But recent studies conducted with the National Institutes of Health have begun to shed light on the potential dangers of BVO, leading to a significant decision by the FDA. These studies have shown that BVO can accumulate in the human body, leading to various health issues. This alarming discovery has prompted the FDA to take a stand, issuing a complete ban on BVO. The final rule will take effect on August 2, 2024, giving companies a one-year grace period to phase out BVO from their products. So, what does this mean for you, the consumer? Well, it's a wake-up call. It's a reminder to be vigilant and aware of what we're putting into our bodies. It's also a call for companies to be more transparent about their ingredients and for regulatory bodies to continue their work in ensuring the safety of the food and beverages we consume. As we peel back the layers on BVO, we find a complex issue that involves not just food safety, but also larger questions about consumer rights and corporate responsibility. Despite being regulated since 1970, BVO continued to be used under strict limits, but that's about to change. The FDA has made a significant decision to ban BVO completely. This decision stems from mounting concerns about the health risks associated with brominated vegetable oil, a common additive in citrus-flavored beverages. Despite having been regulated since the early 70s, when it was removed from the generally recognized as safe list, BVO has continued to be used under strict limits. However, recent studies conducted in collaboration with the National Institutes of Health have shed new light on the potential dangers of BVO. These studies have shown that BVO can accumulate in the human body over time. This accumulation can lead to a variety of health issues, from nervous system damage and skin irritation to persistent headaches. In severe cases, excessive BVO consumption has even led to tremors, fatigue, and a condition known as bromism. These alarming findings have prompted the FDA to take decisive action against the use of BVO in food and beverages. This ban represents a significant shift in policy and a major victory for consumer safety. The FDA's decision sends a clear message to the food and beverage industry. The health and well-being of consumers must always be a top priority. As a result of this ban, companies will be required to reformulate their products without BVO, a process that will take time and resources, but is a necessary step in protecting public health. However, it's important to note that this ban won't take effect immediately. The final rule will be implemented on August 2, 2024. From that point, companies will be given a year to phase out the use of BVO in their products. This gives them ample time to adjust their formulas and ensure that their products meet the new safety standards. So what does this mean for you? Simply put, it means that the beverages you enjoy will soon be free of a potentially harmful additive. It's a testament to the power of scientific research and regulatory oversight in ensuring the safety of our food supply. So, what are the health risks associated with BVO? Well, the health implications of BVO are more severe than you might think. Numerous studies have found that BVO can accumulate in the human body, causing a variety of health problems. Firstly, let's talk about the nervous system. BVO accumulation can cause significant damage leading to memory loss and loss of muscle coordination. Imagine the simple tasks you perform every day suddenly becoming a struggle. Frightening, isn't it? Next, we have skin irritation. Prolonged exposure to BVO can lead to skin problems including rashes and severe irritation. So while you're enjoying that citrus-flavored soda, your skin could be paying the price. Then there's the issue of headaches. Some individuals have reported persistent headaches linked to BVO consumption. And we're not talking about your average everyday headache here. These are severe, debilitating migraines that can disrupt your daily life. But perhaps the most alarming is the severe symptoms observed in some cases. 
Excessive consumption of BVO-containing beverages has led to severe health problems such as tremors, fatigue, and a condition known as bromism. This condition is a type of poisoning that can cause psychotic symptoms and it requires immediate medical intervention. Now you might be thinking, well, I don't drink that much soda. But remember, BVO is not just in soda, it's in many citrus-flavored beverages including some sports drinks, and the effects can accumulate over time. These health problems have led to BVO being banned in many countries around the world. The European Union, Japan, and India have all prohibited its use. Even in Canada, it's allowed only in specific beverages. In the United States, California has recently passed a law banning BVO, set to take effect in 2027. This ban by the FDA is a crucial step towards ensuring the safety of food additives. While companies have a year to adjust their formulas, it's essential for you, the consumer, to stay informed and cautious about the ingredients in your food and beverages. After all, our health is our most precious asset. Let's protect it. Let's take a look at the global response to BVO. While BVO's use continues in some parts of the world, numerous nations have already recognized its potential health hazards and taken steps to ban it. The European Union, for instance, waved goodbye to BVO back in the 1970s. They have stringent regulations in place to ensure that this ban is upheld, keeping their citizens' health and safety at the forefront. In the East, Japan decided to prohibit BVO in 2010, reinforcing their commitment to the well-being of their people. A similar stance was taken by India, who banned BVO in soft drinks as early as 1990. These decisions reflect a global understanding of the detrimental effects BVO can have on human health. Closer to home, Canada has a unique approach. They allow BVO only in specific beverages that contain citrus or spruce oils. This limited permission is a cautious approach, demonstrating a fine balance between industry needs and consumer safety. Most recently, the state of California has passed a law banning BVO. This law, which is set to take effect in 2027, shows a growing awareness and concern about the potential dangers of BVO within the United States. It's a significant step towards a nationwide prohibition and demonstrates the power of consumer awareness and demand for healthier choices. The FDA's decision to ban BVO is a testament to the growing body of scientific evidence against its use. While companies have a one-year grace period to adjust their formulas, this decision marks an essential step towards ensuring the safety of food additives. It's a move that's not just about legislation but about sparking dialogue and raising awareness about what we consume. So, as the world responds to the dangers of BVO, it's a reminder that we, as consumers, need to stay informed and cautious about the ingredients in our food and drinks. After all, our health is in our hands. The FDA's ban on BVO marks a crucial step towards ensuring the safety of food additives. As consumers, it's essential for us to stay informed and cautious about the ingredients in our food and beverages. Knowledge, they say, is power. And in this case, it's the power to make healthier choices, the power to protect our well-being, and the power to demand safer alternatives. One such ingredient is brominated vegetable oil commonly found in certain sports drinks, citrus-flavored sodas, and vegetable oils. Just like brominated vegetable oil, there are numerous food additives out there, some of which we may consume daily. It's our responsibility to know what's in our food, to understand its potential impact on our health. It's important to read labels, not just the nutritional facts, but also the list of ingredients. Look out for unfamiliar names such as brominated vegetable oil, and don't hesitate to research them. The internet is brimming with resources that can help you make informed decisions. But staying informed is just the first step. It's equally important to make our voices heard. We have the power to influence change, to demand safer food practices, especially in products like the aforementioned sports drinks and sodas. Write to food manufacturers, voice your concerns, demand transparency, and safer alternatives. Remember, every voice counts and together we can make a difference. Furthermore, we need to spread awareness. Share what you know about brominated vegetable oil and its prevalence in common foods and drinks with your friends, your family, your community. Start a conversation about food safety, about the hidden dangers lurking in our everyday food and beverages. Encourage others to stay informed, to make healthier choices. The ban on brominated vegetable oil is a significant win, but the fight for safer food practices is far from over. Let's use this momentum to push for more transparency, more accountability, and healthier alternatives in our food industry. Thank you for watching.
Please like, subscribe and share this video to spread awareness about the potential dangers of BVO and its presence in everyday products. Let's work together to create a healthier, safer world for all of us. Until next time, stay healthy, stay safe and stay informed.